Hello, this is going to be the second video in this uh, puzzle script tutorial. Um, I am actually going to share my screen this time. So there's a couple things that you'll be able to see that you might not have seen in the first video. Uh, but in this one, we are going to talk about rules and how rules work in puzzle script. Okay, and this is like where we sort of get into coding and it gets a little um, confusing. I do want to say that I'm basically following the rules 101 sheet in on the puzzle script website. So please visit puzzlescript.net um, slash documentation slash rules 101 and you'll find most of this. But there may be some value in me doing it step by step uh, for those of you who um, want to learn puzzle script. So without further ado, here we go. Great. So this is the basic puzzle script level that we have here. And if we run, we see um, that the rules section is over here. Let me annotate that. Uh, we have rules right here. And so all of our rules are going to be listed bullet point by bullet point right inside this section over here. Okay, so the only rule here is, um, these are all like if statements. Okay, so on the left, it basically says if this, and then on the right, what it's saying is um, do that. Okay, or in more programmery things, it would be then that. Okay, if this is what it sees, then do that. Okay, and let me show you what that means. Um, if the player is moving, um, towards a crate, then the player moves and the crate moves. Okay, and this this line right here is supposed to uh, show like two blocks. So it's always two blocks. It's block one, block two, and then we'll draw like a white line in between because that's what it looks like in our code. Okay, and then I'll draw brackets as well. Okay, so what Puzzle Script is doing is every single um, two block or one block uh, tile or combination, it's checking and saying, is it the left side of this rule? If so, then make it the right side. So if I move these over to here, and then in the game, if I move to the right, now our rule is if the player moves, and there's a crate at the same or on the, the adjacent um, square, then both the player and the crate move. Okay, and I'm just going to show you what that looks like. Um, eh, let's do that in red. Cool. When I move, it's going to move both me and the crate. And I'm pressing Z to back up. Okay, Z is undo. In, in puzzle script, both in the games and in the editor. Okay, so let's clear these drawings and let's try to add another rule. Um, one of the rules allows you to pull crates. Okay, so we have this, if you push into a crate, then the crate moves. But what if we just said, if the player moves away from the crate, what should happen? Well, what should happen is, the player should move to the left or away, not really to the left, and the crate should also move away in the same direction. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, rebuild. I'll rebuild this, and now let's take a look. So now uh, I'm up against the, the crate here, okay? Uh, let's get white here. And so it's looking, it's saying, here's the player, which is blue, and here's crate, which is orange. Now, if I move to the left, or really, if I move away from it, then what happens is the player moves away, and so does the crate. So let me just show that happen. Boom. Okay, so now if I move away from the crate, the crate also moves away with me. And now if I, I can also push it because we have that other rule there, okay? And these, these rules are what makes up all of PuzzleScript, 
Okay, and um, on the Rules 101 page, there's a whole bunch of other examples. Uh, I don't want to go too much into all of them, but uh, one of them that I do want to show is like if you want to delete blocks, uh, all you have to do is create a rule, um, and we will call this uh, match three rule. And I forget how to comment in Puzzle Script. But this is going to be the match three rule. And what it's going to do is it's going to say um, late. And late means happen at the end of me doing an action. OK, so this is these are movement rules. And late is a rule that happens right after you've, you've done your movement. So right after I've done my movement, if you see something that says crate, 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 or let's just do two. If you see two crates next to one another, then we're going to say blank, blank. And those are just empty spaces. OK, so I will rebuild this. And um, in the level editor, I'm actually going to move this crate over to, let's say, right here. And now it's going to look. It's, it's going to look every single frame. It's going to say, hey, if I see two crates, one here with the line and one here, then I want, what I want to convert that to is nothing or they disappear, so to speak. So I'm going to play this and what I'm going to do is move and I'm going to push it up to there. And voila, we have um, matchmaking or match three or match two or however many you want to match there. Okay, there are a ton, a ton of rules that you can use to make um, a whole bunch of different games. Uh, the teleport one is cool, uh, but we're not going to go into that. Um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to add things, how to add um, different objects. And then we'll also talk about how to make custom blocks. Okay, and then uh, we'll also talk about sounds. But th that's the rules in a nutshell. Make sure you always rebuild and run so that you can actually do your rules. Okay, so always make sure you rebuild in order to test things. All right, that's about that for me. Thanks for stopping by and see you next video.